Welcome to my video tutorial where we will dive into creating our own custom Confi UI server on Google Cloud Platform. For quite some time, I have been eager to explore Stable Diffusion for a personal project of mine. However, I am working on an ARM-based M1 Mac and while it is possible to generate images, the lack of GPU support makes the process agonizingly slow and killing all the fun of the learning. Let's do a quick comparison to illustrate the difference between using a custom server and using a non-GPU local machine. On the left, you are looking at my local setup on my M1 Pro with 16 GB of RAM. And on the right, you can see my Confi VM server powered by an NVIDIA T4 GPU. Let's kick off the image generation process on both. As you can see, the Mac struggles while the server breezes through the task. And now let's try with SDXL and 1024 images. As you can see when we run Confi UI on our server, it takes only one minute to finish an SDXL image. But if we try the same scenario with our local M1 Pro, it takes approximately 55 minutes to finish and generate one image. So disparity grows on Mac with the complexity of workflow and it is painfully slow. Uh, I remember experimenting with control nets and once I had to wait almost like two hours so it is not feasible. You can't really learn stable diffusion with such slow setup. But Confi UI server, it is impressively fast. It can handle even the most demanding workflows with ease. And financially, it, it's quite efficient too. If you run it about four hours a day, uh, it will cost roughly $40 a month. Plus it's fully customizable. It won't drain your laptop's battery it downloads models without hogging your internet and it is remarkably straightforward to manage it. Let me show it to you. So let's say we want to shut down the server. We'll open the iTerm and then we'll just kind of say stop. It stopped. Let's check if it's really stopped. It says it's reconnecting. Uh, it will fail, of course. Let's just open it in here. In another window, it fails to open. Yeah, it fails to open. And then if you wanna start our server again, all we have to do is to say, start Confi UI machine. So it started. Um, now it will take approximately one minute to actually start the Confi UI server inside the VM. Let's go back to our browser. And as you can see, we can really, really simply manage our server. We can shut it down really easily and we can start it really easily. And we also have a third option. Let's say if you wanna use Confi UI server with your tablets or with your mobile phone where you don't have access to a command line. Basically what you can do is go to uh, Google Cloud console and you will see, you will go to Compute Engine and then VM Instances and you see here your VM and all you have to do is to stop it and it will stop the server and you can just start, it will start the server. And the best part with the automation scripts I prepared, setting everything up takes less than 15 minutes. And in this video, I will walk you through every step of the process. You can find all the instructions and all the code snippets in the Confi UI on Cloud Repo. Link is in the description. So let's get started on building your own custom Confi UI server on GCP. First thing we gotta do before setting up the Confi UI server is to create a Linux based virtual machine on GCP. Here you see all the steps we will follow through this section. After setting up the VM, we will also ensure your local computer can securely access the VM using Google's Cloud SDK, GCloud. And final step in this section involves installing PyTorch with CUDA support on your virtual machine to leverage the GPU for stable diffusion computations. And code snippets for each step can be found in the Confi UI on Cloud repo. Here you can see. 
First step is to create a new GCP account. I created a new one so we can do everything together from scratch. Once you create an account, first step is to actually uh, start your free trial. Let me choose Turkey. You also have to add your payment details. Start free. Now I added my billing account, so now I'm a paid user. Let's say startup. Uh -huh. Let's say these ones, they are not really important. I'm a developer. And now we are officially logged into our paid accounts. Let's go to Compute Engine. And enable it. After Compute Engine is enabled, the next step is to go to Quotas and Limits and increase your GPU quota from 0 to 1. However, at first it doesn't show you these Compute Engine Quotas. That's why I found a workaround. So let's go back to Compute Engine. And then you all you have to do is just create a very, very simple machine, which we will delete later on. Just say create instance and it should be instance 1, just like I created. Don't touch anything and just say create and it will take two minutes to create a new instance. After we have an instance, you can go to quotas and limits. And then now we can see all the uh, settings here, all the configurations there. And we can just search GPUs, all regions, edit quotas. Our new value will be one. They are asking for a, like basic reasoning why do we need a GPU. Let's say I have a startup which works with machine applications. And this is why I need I need the GPU. And let's say done. Let's say next. It is asking for details. I will just gonna put my phone number here. Submit request. And if everything is okay, it, we will get an email which will tell us that our request for GPU is approved. So now we have to wait for that. Let's go back to Compute Engine and delete this other VM we created. We'll just stop it at first. VM stopped. And then let's delete the VM. Okay, now we have a GPU code of one and we can finally create our Config UI VM. Inside the Compute Engine, let's click Create New Instance. Let's name our VM Config VM. As for the region, we will choose Europe Central 2, 2B. We will select GPUs, NVIDIA T4 will automatically add it. And then we will say, let's make it custom. We want six virtual CPUs and 16 gigabytes of RAM. And then we'll choose spot VM. This will diminish lots of cost here. And then we'll change the boot disk. We will be using Ubuntu. I will use SSD persistent disk, but you guys can use uh, the normal one. There's almost $7 difference between them per month and the size must be at least 100 gigabytes. The initial setup with the popular checkpoints and popular extensions will take approximately 80 gigabytes of memory. 
so we need that extra 10 20 gigabytes for our pictures we will allow HTTP and HTTPS go to advanced options go to networking we will add port 8188 network tag here and for the network interfaces We'll go here. You guys have to click this one. Reserve static external IP address. I already have one here, so I will select this one. And that's all. We can create it. As you can see, it's finished and it looks like it's working. I want to go to view network details, firewall, and I want to check port 8188. And here we can see our Confi VM. If you guys don't have this fire rule here, uh, you can just create a fire rule rule and name it as port 8188. And as a tag also put the same name 8188. Here will be zero. If you wanna access only from specific IP addresses, you can change this one. And then for the TCP, we want to put 8188 again. So we will allow access only from this TCP port. And you can create it. I already have it, so I don't have to do that. And as you can see, we got a green tick here, which means we finally created our VM which we can use to log in and install necessary libraries and then install the Confi server and then everything will be ready. But to do these things, first we need a way to access this VM. This is why we need to install Google's command line interface. And if you go to the Confi on VM repo, you can see these three lines, which downloads the Google Cloud command line interface and then extracts it and then runs the installation file. Let's do that. So I go to iTerm, or you can use the terminal. I already have the file here, but I will just go create another folder. Copy this here. It don't under the installer. You can unzip it with this line. And then we have a Google Cloud SDK folder. If you run this command, it will install the Google Cloud SDK. I don't have to write because I already have it in my local computer. The result is basically installing this command line tool, gcloud. And with the use of gcloud, you can simply control your ECP accounts. You can add new machines, you can delete machines, you can stop them, you can control BigQuery, etc. So this is why we needed that. After installing the gcloud, we need to authenticate it here. So it asks me to authenticate through the browser. Right now I'm using this account, so I will just kind of say yes, continue, and I will allow it. And it's uh, you are now authenticated with gcloud command line interface. Let's go back to our repo. Next we will do gcloud init. As you can see here, my account, a project name, let's select one, we will select four. And this is the project ID we have, I guess. Yeah, my first project and the ID is Studios Camp for one. I selected that one, no, and it is finished. Now let's go back to our repo. We have to generate new SSH key pairs. When I run this command, here, it will generate me new SSH key pairs in the directory of uh, .ssh. So I already have that. I don't. I will not do that now. Let's go to SSH folder, and if I list it, you will see two keys here: config vm key, pvm key, and then config vm key that's public. So all you have to do is to run this command, and it will automatically generate these two files in these directories. And now we have to authenticate our VM with the use of 
these new SSH key pairs. So we have to go to SSH directory. We are already in this directory. And then we will say gcloud compute, add new SSH key pairs and add the public key. It added this public key to our config VM. And let's try to connect. And we've successfully added SSH pairs and connected to our VM for the first time. That was the hard part. Now all we have to do is to install Config UI server. Let's go back to our Config UI on Cloud repo and just paste all these comments here. Right now it's installing all the essential packages as well as Conda and CUDA. It will also install NVIDIA drivers. And then the next command will be installation of Config UI, as well as checkpoints, extensions. First installation file is finished. It didn't accept the second one yet. What we need to do is to do source.bashrc. This will activate the conda environment. Also, let's check if NVIDIA drivers are indeed installed by checking NVIDIA SMI. And they're installed. And as you can see here, everything is okay. Everything is working well. Let's run this install.sh file, which will install the config UI server into the VM. It looks like it's finished. Let's check if everything is working well. Yeah, it is ready. So right now we have a Convivi server and we are free to use it however we like. And if I want to shut down the server, I have two options. First one is to go to Compute Engine and stop the VM. The second option is to take this command, just exit from here and stop the Confi VM. It's stopped, let's check. It won't load and let's start it. Virtual machine started. Let's visit the page again. It might take a minute to start it. Yeah. And we are back. So everything is working well. You have a Comfy UI server, which you can really easily shut down and boot it again. And it will cost you only about $35 per month. And if your workflow ever gets really complicated, you can scale up your compute engine. You can add other GPUs, you can increase your RAM, you can in increase your virtual CPUs, which is really nice because when we start learning something, we don't know how much we dive into that new thing. I created this because I needed this and hopefully it will be useful for you guys too. Thanks for watching my video and please feel free to comment. I wish you have a nice and comfy image generations.